Hi guys, and welcome to part 42 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now, the last couple of episodes have focused on vampires, so this time we're going to focus on their enemies and their weapon of choice. One of the other iconic things that was added with the DLC was the crossbow. So, I'm going to cover mods that add or enhance the crossbow experience. And I'm going to start with a mod called the Dragonbone Crossbow. Now, the Dragonbone Crossbow is a light crossbow. It looks very functional, actually, considering it's, um, it's something that only a Dragon Slayer is likely to have. It looks fairly functional. It looks the sort of crossbow you could imagine a hunter having. Um, it's uh, it's very nicely textured. It looks very realistic. It does actually look like it's been made out of bones um, And it's got this mini dragon skull on the front which really does look very cool uh, Especially if you look right down it. I get these uh, sort of Sam Vimes moments If there are any Pratchett fans out there, you'll probably know what I'm talking about now this is a crossbow that you craft and of course you're going to need the dragon smithing perk so you're not going to get this very early in the game well that's pretty reasonable anyway and of course it's going to require dragon bones this is a great little mod actually great little crossbow and it's the sort of style that fits the game perfectly and it's probably one of the bows that I would use if I were doing an archer playthrough right now now the next crossbow is anything but small. This is the Daedric crossbow and this is a great big thing. This is not a hunting weapon. You will not be stealthily hunting rabbits with this crossbow. This thing is almost a siege weapon. It's massive. It's very Daedric in style, and you could you could really imagine a sort of Dramora Lord walking through a, a gate somewhere wielding one of these things. It looks very dangerous indeed. It's got the sort of X-Wing fighter look about it. The double bow is actually quite spread, um, and it's actually by the same author of the Dragonbone crossbow, and you can see some similarities in the end, for example. It's very ornate. And there's a sort of little tunnel where the crossbow is going to fly through. This is really well done. Very sort of detailed. Very, very efficient looking at the same time as also being very ornate. This is the sort of crossbow you're, you're going to be wanting to wear huge, big armor with. I mean, it looks great with the Daedric armor. Not so good with light armor. Um, this weapon, for some reason looks the sort of weapon where if it was a futuristic game you'd require power armor. It really is very dangerous looking. Now the first two crossbows I've shown you are actually very popular mods and you've probably all heard of at least one of them, probably both of them. They hit the sort of top files, very well endorsed and downloaded. But the next one I'm going to show you barely got any notice at all and I think that's a real shame because I really like this mod. This one is the Falma crossbow and it's done very much in the style of the Falma with sort of chitin, chitin and bones um, and I love the look of this thing. It's very insectoidal. It looks very creepy, very creepy indeed. It's a light crossbow like the, um, the Dragonbone crossbow but again completely different style. It's a, only a single bow, although it almost looks like it's got a double bow. It's got a sort of cross piece going across that really, I think, is more for ornamentation, but gives it this the look of being like spider-like or insectoid. I really do like this. It's a very simple bow in comparison to the previous two, but I think it looks perfectly in place in the game. It's, um, I don't know, it's really well done. And I'm quite surprised that this uh, this crossbow hasn't been a lot more popular. So go give this a try. It really is very cool looking. And the last mod I'm going to show you, like the Falma crossbow, is actually relatively unknown. Um, and I'm quite surprised by this because if, like me, you sort of you're looking at these little bolts and thinking, you know what? Some of the creatures I fight, they're barely going to notice these tiny little crossbow bolts. I need something bigger. Well, this next mod is going to be for you. It's called Siege Weapon Collection and pretty much 
it's exactly what it says. It gives you three different dwarven siege weapons, and they are essentially enormous, great big crossbows. Uh, they look like they should be mounted onto some sort of tripod or some sort of stand, and they fire these enormous bolts. These bolts that are as long as your arm and probably an inch and a half thick. They've got these great big steel tips and they will penetrate through just about anything. They look really dangerous. They've got loads of sort of extra pieces of machinery on them. They almost look like they should be auto-firing these bolts, which I'm actually hoping comes out as, a, as an option for this mod. I would love to see auto-fire on this weapon. And the first-person experience is not disappointing at all. There is something deeply satisfying about shooting things with this, especially when you see the penetration of these bolts. Uh, but it is actually exceptionally amusing that several people can actually survive a bolt to the head and then run around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. For some reason, that just amuses me no end. I do feel that this crossbow should actually have a knockback effect. Um, similar to unrelenting force. The bolt is so big and so heavy it would probably knock an elephant backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this mod, well, it's definitely a lot of fun. Oh dear. Installing Dragonbone Crossbow is very, very easy. Uh, go along to the file section on Nexus and just click download with manager and activate as usual. Nothing complicated at all. The same is true of the Daedric crossbow. Uh, file section, download with manager, and yeah, um, activate. There are two versions. Um, there's one with no red added to it, so if you prefer an all-black version without any red paint on it, you can pick that one. Just pick one of them, though, and only one. And the Falmer crossbow is the same. It's a single file, download with manager, and activate. All three of those mods require dawn guard they all in fact all four of these mods requires dawn guard now the siege crossbow does not have a download with manager button so you're going to have to download it manually now i'm downloading mine to my desktop now once it's downloaded i'm going to right click and extract to siege crossbow collection and it'll give me a nice little folder here i can now delete that archive I'm going to open that folder, and again, there's quite a few folders in here. Double click until you see these two. Now, the Golodon army is actually a rather large Dwemer robot of some type. It's a it's a mod. It's a boss to fight. I'm not a hundred percent sure why he's packaging these as a what a single um, a single mod, but I'm not not interested in those. I just want the Siege Crossbow. So I'm going to delete the Golodon army. And what I'm actually going to do is go into here and I'm going to take data and basically cut this. And I'm going to go up until I'm at the top folder and paste the data folder there. You could also, if you want the location, which tells you where they are, you could also take the readme if you want to do the readme. That's up to you, but you don't need those. I'm going to delete them. So I now have just the data folder in Siege Crossbow Collection 22706-1-0. And then go to right click. And again, I'm using WinRAR. You can use 7-zip if you want. That would also work. If you don't have WinRAR installed, I suggest you do so. 
and I'm going to add to archive and I'm going to give it the same name as this folder. So I'm going to copy that, right click, copy, and then I'm going to select the data part and paste. So right click and paste. So I've now got an archive called Siege Crossbow Collection, etc. Ra. Then click OK. I'm then going to drag this onto my desktop. I can now delete this folder. I then open Nexus Mod Manager and go to my Mods tab and I click the Add Mod From File and I go to my desktop which is where I made my new archive and select the Siege Crossbow Collection RAW file and I open that and a few seconds later there it is and then I activate it as normal. Dead simple. Load order for these mods does not seem to be hugely important at the moment, as far as I can tell. But of course, you could always use Boss to check if that changes. And as usual, I'm going to finish with some screenshots that you guys have made. If you want to post screenshots for me to put in these videos, you can follow the link I'll put down below to my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Nexus page and post the images there. Um, you're more than welcome to do that and I will try and post as many as I can each episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video, whatever that is. And until then, as always, have fun.